Okay, I think I'm live. Well, I'm not live really. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, hello, guys. This is me, the GH Fear, the one and only. So today I have a special little video, and basically what it is is custom songs on Guitar Hero 3 on the Xbox 360. And this is really not anything new. It's been done by a f couple of people. It was done by this one guy, and he posted a really, really vague, sort of not very good tutorial many, many years ago. And it was nothing you could really follow along and, <laughs> and do yourself. It took me a really long time to get this to work properly. So that's why I thought I would make a good tutorial that people can follow along and do themselves with ease. So yes. So first off, what you need uh, to do this is a flash DVD drive on your Xbox or a JTAG or an RGH console. Uh, you also need to have the game, which I will provide in a link down below. Um, basically the the raw files here in a link. Yeah. And you also need Audacity and you need to have some songs. Um, the song that you want to use for your custom song. And yeah, that's about it. So, oh yeah, and you want to download this right here, Xbox Customs. It's going to be a file or a folder slash RAR file that I will have a link to in the description. Uh, I can open that up right now. It looks like this. Yeah, so uh, what you want to do is you want to find a song that you want to use for your custom. So you need to um, um, you need to basically search for a song. I'm going to use Heartbreak Armageddon. Oh, forgot T. Heartbreak Armageddon by Dragon Force because it's one of my favorite songs by Dragon Force. Uh, you want to drag that into Audacity, the MP3, the OGG, whatever file format it is. Open it up like this. And then you click on File, Export Audio. And now, here's the kicker, right? So you want to find this folder, Xbox Customs, wherever you put it, preferably in, in the root of your hard drive to make it um, to make it easier for all these uh, tools to actually find the files and not have really, really long names and mess up because it happens. It does happen. This happened to me a couple times. So preferably put this folder in the root of one of your hard drives. Um, yeah, and then when you have that open, you want to click on Songs, which is this folder. Click on that. And this is where you want to have all your custom audio. And you want to call your custom audio um, basically like this for now until we change it. You want to call it, um, well, let's just do it from the beginning. Let's call it guitar. Wait, no. We're, um, never mind. Let's just call it uh, song name underscore guitar dot wave. And you want to have wave. Microsoft signed 16-bit PCM it has to be this type. It doesn't work with 32-bit or any other file format. So song name underscore guitar dot wave. Save that. Hit OK. And it is going to save into here, as you can see. So what you can do now is you can mark it, Control C, and then Control V once, twice. And then you want to call these song name underscore song dot wave. And the other one you want to call song name underscore rhythm dot wave. Right? Like this. They have to be rhythm dot wave, uh, guitar dot wave, rhythm dot wave, song dot wave. 
And what we want to make next is the preview for when you listen to the song, the preview on the game. And the way you do that is you want to cut, so you only have about 30 seconds. So go in here, drag across, click delete, and it's about 30 seconds as you can see right there. Now export that audio and call it song name underscore preview dot wave like that. Hit save. Okay. Now you have all the files you need. So you can close down um, Audacity. You can also close down this folder right here. And what we want to do now to make sure that these work properly in the tool that I will be showing you, uh, we need to call them, where it says song name, we need to call them whatever the song is, and not what it, the song is in itself, but what the um, FSV file, give me a second, there we go, what the FSV file name is called in the game. So you want to open up the game, the Xbox GH3 game, you want to go to data, music, and then you want to find whatever file you want to replace. Any one of these files work perfectly fine. I want to replace um, the way it ends right here. So the way I do that is I take both of these files. I only need one of them really, but you know, just to be sure that I have the name correctly up there, I will take both of these files. I will go to Xbox Customs and I will put them in here. So I will delete the ones I already have here, copy them in like that. And the name that we want now is th this name right here, that. But we want to use the underscore one. So we want to get the one from the dat.xen file, basically. But they're, they're always the same. It's just this one's always, you know, or I mean, these, this one's over uh, lower case, I mean. So, um, we do control C on the way it ends right here, the first name of it. We go to songs and now we highlight song name, control V. Do the same for all of these like that. It's a, it's a pretty quick process, just like that. So now they're called the way it ends underscore guitar dot wave rhythm preview song like that. Now the tool is going to be able to read these files. Okay. Uh, what you do now is you take these files, you copy them from this folder, control C, and you copy them into this folder right here to have them ready. And you have the FSB and you have the Xen file right here. Okay. Now that we have all these files ready, so now that we have uh, the audio, our custom audio, with the correct name, where this first part is called the same as this right here and this right here. Um, when that's done, we start gh3 uh, underscore 360.exe. Double click it. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to open original FSB docsn file and it will open whatever folder this is in. So it will open the correct folder. If it's not, just find the folder where you put the FSB docsn. Um, double click it to load it. And then we want to hit decrypt uh, slash extract FSB docsn file. Hit that, take a look here. It created a template.dat file. Sometimes it will also create WAV files and sometimes .xem, uh, .xma files. So sometimes you will get more files, don't worry. It's just the way it works. Sometimes <laughs> it works a little randomly, but it always works. Um, and then when that's done and you see that you have the template.dat file, you are going to open guitar wave file. Now 
you're going to double click the guitar wave file that is in this Xbox customs folder where you put it right here not the ones in songs then it won't work it needs to be these ones right here double click it do the same for preview do the same for rhythm and the same for song now you will have them all loaded as you can see right here um, if you cannot load one of them you called it the wrong thing then it's not the correct name right here the, the extension is guitar.wav preview.wav uh, rhythm.wav and song.wav wave whatever you want to call it it's a wave but yeah <laughs> so uh, and then when you have it loaded you click get song length in seconds click this one right here that will get the original song length of the original song the way it ends uh, and it will show you the new song length of the song um, Heartbreak Armageddon basically that I put in there so that is the new song length when this is all loaded where you can see the original song length the new song length and everything and you're you just you know and when you can see this encode wav files to XMA now what you want to do is you want to change the quality to 25 so that it will fit in there um, and that's about it for now yeah now you hit encode web files to XMA and you just wait for a second you'll see it'll create a dot FSB cache and a uh, wave song list dot text it is um, I think it's the FS, FSB uh, or FS bank whatever um, it's this tool basically working right now if I remember correctly okay now that that's done if you look in here you don't you don't have the web files anymore you have the XMA files they'll be a lot smaller than before it used to be 80 80 uh, megabytes another about six megs um, yeah so all you have to do now when you see these XMA files is save encrypt fsb.send file hit that and it will create it will remove those and it will create the custom song right here as you can see uh, it's the way it ends dot fsb dot send and it's just barely smaller because we used 25 XMA quality um, and that is actually it for the audio and now you have custom audio that you can just replace with so here is the original audio and this is the new custom audio yo what's up so I'm just gonna say uh, this is one thing I forgot to explain here so if the file the custom file that you make is uh, larger in size if the fsb.send file is larger in size than the original then you need to lower the XMA quality um, even further than 25 until it is smaller it has to be the exact same size on the the byte really you know you can check in here um, or with a hex editor but it has to be the exact same size or smaller for it to work so yeah just uh, saying that making sure you guys know uh, let's go on with the video and then if you want to put it on your game all you do is you copy it from here into your game and that's it and if that wouldn't work by the way uh, sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't I don't know why but if it doesn't work there is a trick and that trick is you need a hex editor and you meet you basically need to open up the hex editor and make this the files the same size right so if it weren't to st you know if it wouldn't start all you do is you open it up you take the the way it ends the original the way it ends dot fsb dot xen and you take now the custom one and if you go to the end of the original one 
you'll see the length here, 1262C80. And the one that is, um, no, oh yeah, yeah, this is the custom one. Uh, this one will be 125F, so it's a little bit shorter. So the way to fix that is to remember this right here. And then you just click right after there. And then you hit insert on your keyboard, the one next to home and, and right above the delete key. Click insert so that it says insert down here. This tool is called HXD, by the way. So it's HXD hex editor. And then you hit zero and you hold it down for a little bit and then you copy these, click again after and hold it down like this. So one, two, six, and then two C eight zero. So you just put zeros after to fill it out. So two C eight zero. So right here. So this one now is one, two, six, two C eight zero. Now this one is 1262C80. And if you click right at the end, it'll tell you where you are. It'll say 1262C90. And if I click at the end of the original one, it'll tell me the same thing. That means they're now at the exact same length. So now you can hit save on this file right here, like that. And now this file, as you can see now, is the, the same as this. Click properties, it'll say blah, 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 992 bytes. If I click on the original, it'll say blah, 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 992 bytes. So now this one will always work if you do that uh, method. And now you just copy that into here and start the game and it will have custom audio. Um, yeah, that is about it for this video. It's not much harder than that. <laughs> uh, it's not, well, I guess it's not very straight, straightforward, but that is how you do it. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I will upload the uh, custom uh, chart tutorial tomorrow. So look out for that. Yeah, that's about it for today. Have a wonderful weekend guys. Peace.